Hello Drone Racers, I'm Mark and today on Drone Racer 101 I'm going to show you how to set up a momentary switch on the Tyrannus x Lite. Some of you will be very excited, some of you will have no idea what I'm talking about. So first, a little history. What's a momentary switch? Well this is my Tyrannus x 9 DSE and this is a momentary switch. See this? You pull it and it flicks back. Why would anyone want this? Why well, I used to use this to reset the timer on my radio when I used to have to time my flights to know when to come and land before we had telemetry. I don't do that anymore. Nowadays what most people use it for is a secondary arming switch. What's a secondary arming switch? I think this came in Betaflight 3.3. So what it's actually called is pre-arm and you can see it right here. You can add a range for this and with your momentary switch you can pull it and basically you have to have pre-arm engaged on your momentary switch before you can arm. This helps when you're carrying your radio, you might be carrying it on your lanyard and you accidentally bump a switch with your quad in your hand and it tears your hand off. There's lots of safety precautions that should happen that prevents that from happening, but it still happens occasionally. So this is just one extra measure you can use. Some people swear by it and will not even look at the new x Lite radio because it doesn't have a momentary switch in order to use pre-arm. So now I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So what I'm gonna do is reconfigure these trim buttons as momentary switches. So I'm just gonna do one, I'm just gonna do the left switch here. Now in my opinion, these are pretty worthless. If you're flying a model with a flight controller, you really shouldn't use trim anyway. If you're flying a plane and you have manual control, sure, use trim, you probably don't wanna do this. But then you probably don't need pre-arm and there's a whole bunch of other things. So this is mainly for people flying with a flight controller that might want momentary switches for whatever reason. So I'm gonna make a new model just so we can start fresh so you can see everything. So I'll go through here, make a new model, create model, multi-rotor and all the defaults. So I'm using TAER on this. You might have to change it just a little bit if you're doing other things, but it'll be pretty close. So now if I have my trims, I have my trims and I can move them all the way over. Minimum, use, trim, reached. And minimum tr trim reached. So with the minimum trim, my aileron is also in the negative. You'll see this has moved over here. So that's not gonna work. This is the defaults. So we'd have to do a couple of things to get this working. We'll go into the model and go into the model here and we're gonna to go to the mixer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go down to aileron and go to edit and I'm going to turn off trim and exit out. And if I exit out now, now you'll see the trim is not adjusted. So we it's removed the trim from that switch. So now I'm just gonna make a new mixer. You could make this on any channel, whatever you want, but I would normally have others in place here. I'm just gonna, for example, set this up. So for source, I'm gonna click and hold I'm gonna go down to trims and I'm going to change this to aileron. The next thing I'm gonna do is set my weight. I'm gonna move this all the way up to 500. Now that's all set. Now I'm gonna go down to offset. I'm gonna set this to negative 500. Now you don't technically need to go all the way to these extremes, but just to show you what I'm doing, uh, I'm gonna go all the way. There we go, negative 500, so I'll exit out there. Now I'm gonna go down to switch. I'm gonna click and hold and go down to trims. Now what I wanna find is T-A-L. So that is trim aileron left. So that's basically this button without pressing the shift key. We'll exit out there and that's all I need to do. Now I'm in the center and if I push it, it shows it, trim negative 1000. So it is a Minimum momentary switch now. Now, Minimum it's also really annoying. So next, we're gonna get rid of that. To do that, I'm powered on. I'm gonna plug in USB. I'm gonna go down to USB storage. So for me, this shows up as the E drive. So I'm on my E drive here, which is the SD card in my FreeSky. This is assuming you've set up the SD card following one of my other videos. So I'm gonna go into sounds, English for me, system, and then I'm gonna go down to the M's and find mid trim and min trim. And what I'm gonna do is just take those files and delete them. I just don't want them at all. Now I'll unplug my USB. Now, if I press this left button, it'll beep at me just once 
but then that's it. Now you'll see my trim is all the way to the left here. It, it doesn't matter at all. It's not affecting anything else. We've disassociated it with that. So now that is a momentary switch with a value of negative 1000. So what I'm gonna do now is actually set this up with a model to show you what it looks like in Betaflight now. Okay, so now here in Betaflight, I've got an arm switch set up and I do not have pre-arm configured. Now if I flip my arm switch, it will arm, which is good except not what I want. I want a pre-arm to be configured, so I'll connect it back up. Now what I'm gonna do is go into modes here again, and at the bottom, I'm gonna set up pre-arm, and I've got this on my aux one, and right now it's centered, so I will set it over here. So now, if I push my momentary switch, pre-arm will become enabled. So I'll save this. Now if I flip my arm switch, it won't work. See, it gives me an error. If I hold down pre-arm and arm, now it arms. So that gives me an extra measure. Now, it's not so bad. This switch, my arm switch is so small that the chance of clipping that is way less than this. But now if you feel better having a pre-arm, so just arm, won't do it. But pre-arm and arm will. There you go. That's exactly how you do it. Now you can configure all of these switches as different measures, each different order. And you can also do shifts. So you can have really eight switches here. So if you want eight different momentary switches to do whatever you want, you can fully set that up on different channels and have them do all kinds of stuff, whatever you want. And to me, those are way more useful than actually having trim buttons. We'll cover more of this when I go through OpenTX on the radio. That's just one of the things, but there's lots of other things that we might talk about how to make those work and what you might use them for with other features. But for now, Momentary switches, pre-arm, there you go. If you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what else do you want. This was definitely a frequently asked question. There were a lot of people complaining about this and it was a lot of fun to try and figure out how to make this work. I'm very satisfied that it works. So until next time, remember, there are a lot of different things you can make your radio say when you wanna arm.